Well, his boxing has been on point throughout his UFC career, and got to figure there's going to be plenty more where that came from here in this matchup tonight. Well, yeah, it's what he does. I mean, this guy is as good a boxer as we've ever had in the UFC. He is so good at popping that jab. And then when you enter, create just enough space to let the right hand drop. And if the right hand ain't landed, look out for his beautiful left hook. When you do that much great work with your hands, you will be thought of as one of the best boxers in the UFC. You start to put yourself along the lines of the great guys like Jorge Masvidal and so many others that fight behind that specific skill set. Yeah, Max Blessed Holloway as well. And, and it is going to be interesting in this particular matchup. Good shin on the other side. Will he be able to get that knockout? Certainly going to go for it here tonight. Kickboxing is as good as anyone's in this division, but this is a mixed martial arts fight. You gotta think that a lot of people in this division are gonna try to put him on his ass. Well, you have to. If you're standing with this guy, if you're stuck on your feet fighting this man, you're constantly in trouble. So you've gotta give him mixed looks. But I'm gonna tell you, he has been very impressive in this regard. He has shown an ability to stay upright, defend takedowns just enough to give himself a chance. And because of that, he has had a lot of success at the start of his UFC career. And he's brought in a lot of fans from the kickboxing world. So let's see if he can produce for all the masses watching around the world tonight. And he finds himself in another big spot here tonight. Fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outlined the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Seattle Ghan, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start throwing, he's got to start throwing down. He's got to move. He's going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Left hook, right hand. Oh, my goodness! Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Missed with that attempt. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Smith's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the... The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. There's that left hand. Quick 
jab. for him to set up that hook again now. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his move. You know, he's having a good time out there. And, and back to his feet. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Lionheart Smith. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.